Howdy folks, George Shively back with you here on the 30-foot uh, um, C-Ray that we were on last year uh, where we replaced the Garmin, uh, made new fascia panels. Um, at that time I said the owner had approved going ahead and replacing the, uh, the switch panel fascia. So that's what we're here today to do is to take out this old panel. As you can see we've got it pulled out of the dash a little bit and um, we're going to disconnect um, every single wire that's on the back and as you can see there's quite a few and get that panel duplicated and then put it back into place. So just kind of want to show you what it looks like here um, before we get going and then uh, we'll drop back in a little bit later. Stay tuned. Right, back with you here on the uh, dash panel replacement. Well there it is. Um, the panel has been removed. All the wiring has been recorded so that it can go back on exactly how it came off. And the uh, new panel is, or the old panel is right here. Um, that kind of gives you an idea of what it used to look like um, and then what it looks like after years of being in the sun so always cover your dash for certain when you're not on the boat so this will get remade uh, identically to what it uh, is here and uh, we'll put it back on and you'll never know that it was ever worked on stay tuned folks thanks very much for watching howdy folks George Shively South Shore Marine Electronics back with you here I want to kind of show you what the new panel looks like that we've had fabricated. I mean, just beautiful. I mean, just brand spanking new, and it's really going to give the boat a uh, just a new look. I mean, the uh, uh, I mean, having having new panels made for an older boat just give it that that polished, clean, exceptional look. We've got the old panel here, and uh, you can kind of see uh, compared to the. A new one I mean it's just it's tired it's shot and um, you can really avoid having this happen on your boat by you know always keeping your dash covered when you're not using the boat but uh, even doing that after a period of time the dash just kind of deteriorates because the UV light just kills the uh, the dash material but as you can see um, you know new dash old dash so just want to kind of show you what that looks like this is not obviously installed yet we just have all the switches in place here and we've got to make all the wire connections on the back but we will do that in a day or two and uh, get the new or the depth sounder that was in the center here put back in place the rudder indicator here on the uh, uh, starboard side and we'll be ready to go so just kind of want to show you what that looks like and we'll give you a finished look here in a little bit stay tuned Howdy folks, we are back on board the Sea Ray here. I've got the panel, the new panel that uh, showed you before. Uh, turned out real nice. As you can see now that matches perfectly with the panel here that we created on the left for the Garmin as well as the lower panel where the VHF is mounted. So the dash matches just like it was when the boat was brand new. All the engraving is identical and uh, from the back side, if you look at it, uh, every wire is connected to the exact location it was connected to originally. So that is a task. Uh, it's quite imperative that every wire go back exactly where it came off or else obviously things are not going to work too well. So anyway, just want to give you a shot of what that looks like now that we've got the new panel in place. We'll go ahead and screw it in place and give you a quick look there. Stand by. Howdy folks, we are back. I want to show you what this looks like now that it is fully installed with all of the wires connected to it. Turned out looking quite nice. Um, actually, it doesn't even look like it's ever been replaced, which is kind of the look we were going for. Let me step back here, give you a little bit wider view of the helm now. As you can see, we still need to do the gauge panel. That's uh, a little bit less intensive than doing the wiring uh, because it doesn't need to have any engraving done so but the uh, everything matches and it looks just like it did when the boat was brand new so that's what we aim for and uh, I think we got pretty close on this one so stand by and uh, we'll be working on the uh, the upper gauge panel here very soon and when that's finished we'll show you what that looks like thanks very much for watching stay tuned honey folks here we are back on the sea uh, ray um, just want to show you what the uh, gauge panel looks like here before we get going. We've uh, started to disconnect <coughs> some of the wires on the, uh, the port side gauges and uh, all of those wires have to be disconnected every single last one of them. You gotta make sure you know where they go back uh, or else things aren't gonna work quite right 
and then uh, the, the panel will be able to be removed from the boat. All of the gauges will come out. That panel will be duplicated, all the gauges put back in, and all the wires reconnected. So I just want to show you what things look like for the moment. Stand by. Hey folks, and we're back. And this is what you're left with, a, uh, a wiring harness. Um, better make sure you know where all those wires go uh, back on the gauges, or else that's going to be very uh, unhappy. And if we look over here, we have our gauges on the panel. Uh, this panel is going to be duplicated, and uh, all the gauges come out. Panel gets duplicated, all the gauges go back in, and uh, we'll show you what that's going to look like. But at this point, for the old panel, um, doesn't look too uh, too attractive, but uh, it will shortly. So stand by. Hi, folks. We're back. Um, as you can see here, we've got uh, our new template, uh, our new panel rather, is made. It's a uh, exact duplicate of the existing panel, but as you can see, looks just a whole lot nicer. Um, so. Looking forward to get the gauges back in here, and uh, then we'll give you another quick look before we uh, put it back in the boat, but there you go. Uh, an exact duplicate that will match the rest of the boat, make the uh, helm look brand spanking new. Stay tight. And there we have it. Um, all the gauges put in the, uh, the new panel, uh, tightened down, and ready to go back into the boat. Again, just such a major improvement over the you know old panel that had almost had the uh, the decoration, the burlwood decoration, you know, removed from it entirely. If you look down here, it's just black panel. So we're, uh, we're quite a ways from that. It uh, has come out beautiful. And again, it will just make the helm look brand new. So uh, it's, uh, it's a great way to take an older boat that uh, has a worn looking helm from being exposed to sun and uh, make it look brand new. So uh, we'll give you a look after we get it back in the boat. Hi hey folks, George Shively back with you here. I just want to kind of show you the, uh, the panel, the new panel here, uh, wired. Everything is put back uh, precisely where it was and uh, it is completely rewired and uh, ready to go. Uh, the old panel here in front of us, as you can see, it's uh, less than attractive, but uh, that will soon be off the boat. And uh, the new panel installed and uh, ready to go. and dress the boat up a little bit. So we should have this in in just a few moments and uh, I'll be right back to show you the end result. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, just wanted to show you that what the finished product looks like here on the 33 Sea Ray. Uh, the new panel uh, is installed and uh, looks beautiful. Uh, again, the, uh, the it just gives the helm a, a, a new look. I mean, it just, you know, uh, the boat's, um, you know, probably approaching 20 years old and with the the panel work that we've done here, replacing the switch panel um, earlier in the year and last year doing new fascias for where the uh, chart plotter and the VHF radio go. I mean, the boat looks new. I mean, it, it honest to God looks new. So um, this is a great way if you've got an older boat that's got fascia panels for where the um, equipment and gauges are located, a little bit faded, to change those out and really give the boat a uh, a new look. So, as always, if you'd like to get in touch with us, George Shively at South Shore Marine Electronics. Our telephone, 216-407-6553. And our email address is South Shore Marine Electronics at oh.rr.com. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.